Recently, I reviewed the Thrunite Catapult Pro, a really highly effective throwing flashlight. But you know, this is a little bit big for a lot of people to carry in their pockets or even on their belt in the provided holster. Well, how about something a little bit more compact that has most of the capability? the Thrunite TC20 Pro. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Thrunite for sending me the TC20 Pro so that I could share it with you. All right, so what we'll do is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light, as well as its physical and performance specifications and its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Thrunite TC20 Pro, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. This is the box that light arrived in inside of the box. Operating manual and warranty information. Small Ziploc bay containing a lanyard, two spare O-rings, and a spare battery port cover. USB Type-C charging cable. And a nice little nylon belt holster. Let me put those things aside, bring the light back in. The other thing I thought I would do is just give you some comparisons between this and the Catapult Pro that I showed in the opening. So let me just bring the Catapult Pro back in. So the Catapult Pro is a dedicated throwing light. And you can tell that by the depth of the reflector, the fact that it is polished, as well as the diameter. This has a long distance cast on its beam. But it is a big light. It is quite a huge light, especially up in this area. Now, you could carry it in your pocket. Uh, you could carry it in a belt holster, but I know a lot of people are going to be looking for something a little bit more compact, and uh, this is where the TC20 Pro comes in. So the TC20 Pro is referred to as a compact thrower again polished reflector, quite deep, has a different LED, and it has a smaller diameter basal on it, so it won't throw quite as far as the Catapult does, but it's very, very respectable and a much more carryable size. Now, the other thing I want to say is that the TC20 Pro differs from the TC20 V2 in that the V2 has that orange pebble reflector on the inside and a different LED, and it is more of a floodlight as opposed to a compact thrower. The otherwise, you know, a lot of the specifications are very much the same, and it has a lot to what do you want more of? A longer cast or a wider floodlight. So that's the basic difference between the two. All right, now as far as key features go, it does have a max output of 3,294 lumens, and of course, that nice, smooth, deep reflector giving it the beam cast that it has. Now, as far as physical specifications go, with the battery installed, the light comes in at 8.5 ounces or 242 grams. The overall length front to back or tip to tip is 4.7 inches, 119 millimeters. The diameter at the basal is 1.65 inches, 42 millimeters. And the diameter of the battery tube is 1.3 inches, 33.5 millimeters. And of course, it is rated to, for an impact resistance of 1.5 meters and waterproof to the IPX8 standard. All right, let's go over the performance specifications for the TC20 Pro. And starting at turbo, it does have a high of 3,294 lumens, which will last for 200 seconds before dropping down to 1,500 lumens, which will last for another 112 minutes. Do you know, when I first looked at that, I thought it might have been a typo error. 200 seconds, over three minutes on turbo before it drops down. That's pretty impressive. Not too many lights will hold their turbo on for that length of time. I think equally as impressive is high, high of 1,513 lumens, and that will stay on steady for 116 minutes, almost two hours. That's pretty good when you consider you can keep over 1,500 lumens on steady for two hours. It has a medium of 264 lumens, which will last for 10.5 hours. It has a low of 30 lumens, which will last for 89 hours. It does have a firefly of 0.4 lumens, which will last for 69 days. Strobe mode, 966 lumens lasting for four hours. And the beam cast for this light on turbo is 348 meters with a candela of 30,400. All right, as far as the operation of the Thrunite TC20 Pro goes, very much like most of Thrunite's lights, a well thought out system that is consistent right across most of their lights. To turn on Firefly, press 
and hold the button and the light will come on at that point for lumens, turning it off again. When I turn the light on with a short press to the on off button, the light will come on in whatever the last lumen setting I used was. In this case, it is low. If I press and hold the button, the light will cycle from low to medium to high and back to low again. If I double press the button, either with the light on or the light off, it'll go into turbo. And if I double press it while it's in turbo, it'll go to strobe. All right, having gone over the key features as well as the physical and performance specifications and modes of operation for the TC20 Pro, let's get outside and do some testing. Okay, so I'm working in my backyard tonight to do the testing for the Thru-Night TC20 Pro, and I'm starting off on low and low of 30 lumens. Now, the, across my backyard and the neighbor's backyard, and I'm shining at a garage three doors up. So I'm thinking about 80 feet or so away. It's probably not showing up very well on the, on the camera. Let's take it up to medium. Now, medium at 264 lumens does a great job of not only illuminating the garage, but I, I was surprised for a, a compact thrower just how much flood this has. A very distinct central hotspot, but much more flood. I, I don't know that I really want to call this a compact thrower as much as a good floodlight with a good central hotspot, I guess. So let's take it up now to high. One, two, three, high. Okay, high of over 1,500 lumens. It's virtually illuminating the whole backyard here. I don't know that I'd need to use any more than the 1,500 lumens, but let's take it up to turbo anyway. You know, for doubling the lumen output at turbo, it doesn't give you the same effect. Uh, it's bright, and it's brighter than high, but not twice the lumen set that you would think. It's not, it doesn't work quite like that. Just the same, that's doing an amazing job of just illuminating all of my backyard, the neighbor's backyard, and the garage three doors up. All right, let's see if we can wrap this video up with a few closing comments on the Thru-Night TC20 Pro. So what do I really like about this light? Well, right off the top, when we got it outside, you could see that it has a very well-defined central hotspot casting out quite a reasonable long distance, yet it still has a considerable amount of flood. I was impressed how much flood it has with it. Now, I don't have the V2 to compare it with, but my understanding is the primary difference is the V2 is designed as more of a floodlight than it is a spotlight. However, this has a, quite a bit of flood, so I guess it's whatever it is you're looking for in a flashlight. What else do I like? The long run times, especially on high. In high at over 1500 lumens that runs close to two hours. That's very impressive, at least I think it is anyway. I do like the fact that it does come with that small holster because even though I call it a compact thrower, it's still a relatively good size light. I don't mind carrying this in my pocket, but I can see carrying this in a belt holster just as well. So those are the things that I really like about it. Is there anything I think can be improved? Yes, and this is common to a lot of the flashlights from through night for this size, and that is the on-off button. Very functionally effective, not too hard to find with bare hands, but as soon as you put a pair of gloves on, I find it very challenging to find and index my finger on that button. And since it's winter, I have been wearing gloves outdoors while I, I did the testing. And yeah, that's a bit of a challenge. I would like to see Through Night do something just to make it a little easier to find the button with gloves on or with, even without gloves on, just something you can index your finger on. The other thing is, and this kind of surprises me, the light does not have an electronic lockout. And I say it surprises me because the Catapult Pro, for all the similarities, it does have an electronic lockout. I don't know why this one doesn't. Now, is that a deal breaker? No, quarter turn and it's unlocked or locked, I should say. And it won't make contact, won't come on. You just have to remember that you did that and, and tighten it up before you go to use it. So not a deal breaker, just one of those things that makes you question why wouldn't they have thought to include that in the circuitry. Okay, that's everything I have to say about the TC20 Pro from Thru-Night. What I'll do, be doing, of course, is putting links to where you can purchase this in the video description, as well as all the technical information. But what I would invite you to do is if you have any comments or questions, put those in the comment section under this video. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.